Well, hello and welcome to part two of this special preview of uh, the Star Sports English Greyhound Derby. Uh, once again, introducing our panel uh, this morning, we have uh, Star Sports Greyhound frontman, Martin Chapman. We've got top trainer, Kevin Hutton, and top Irish journo, Ian Fortune. And I suppose, Ian, we're going to have to start with you in terms of the leading Irish contenders. And I didn't know whether to put Tyra Shea as number one or Claire's Rocket number one. Who should it be? Well, they're both third season dogs now at this stage, and mm. um, they're hardened, but, you know, both have recovered from serious, perhaps, you know, at one stage looking career ending we injuries. We didn't think they were so going to be back, did we? No, we, we didn't, and um, it's great to see them back, mm. but it's a case of wait till see they're in company, and we just don't know if they're the same greyhounds they were. If they are, obviously they're, they're two exceptional, you know, greyhounds. Tara Shea went so close to winning last year, I thought perhaps he was going to win at the third bend, and um, Claire's Rocket, again, just missed the kick in the final. He was... Uh, he, I don't know, at the week up to the derby final, he was even money or something. I think he was much bigger on the night, wasn't yeah, he? I think it was the, the, the famous quote, not quite like four to six, first of all, like Matt Chapman over my ear, and the, literally priced up in the derby. It was a misbreak in communications, and we've not lived that down the whole year with social media, that we quite declared to rocket at four to six for the final. Immediately after they crossed the line for the semi final, but yeah. we, were, we soon went even, yeah, and he saw my night, it was about a six to four chance, seven to four chance, yeah. Do but you yeah, think things could have been different had he been drawn against the fence? Definitely. I think if he's drawn a trap one, he'd have won the derby. You know, that's, that's my, that was my view. I, although I don't feel he really fully took to the track last year. It's funny. Um, and who's to say he will take to it this year? But I thought Tyra Shea was the... I think he was the, the shining light of how a dog should run toaster last year. I think he was the one dog that really took to the place and as a result went so close to winning the derby. It was very crowd-pleasing efforts, wasn't it, from, from Tyra Shea. But both, to be fair, have trialled back pretty well. And yeah, fast. yeah, Tyra Harold or Tyra Shea, should I say, um, trialled very well for, for a dog that hasn't seen so much uh, seen action in a long time. Claire's Rocket hasn't raced since the early round or the second uh, the early rounds of the Irish Derby when he picked up his injury and now I know he's had a couple of unofficial trials which were fairly hot. Um, but his trial the other night, the sprint, it wasn't great in terms of the clock, but to the eye it was pleasing. He ran the place great, sluggish at traps and took him a few strides to get going, but yeah, he ran a great bend, ran a great second bend and was still running hard at the line, obviously you'd expect him to do that in the sprint. I wonder maybe with a little bit of age on his side, perhaps he's going to be more of a strong running dog this year than the early speedster that we, we've seen on, on his prime, who knows. But And in yeah. his prime? He's amongst the best that you've ever seen? Yeah, he's definitely amongst the best I've ever seen. Like, there's no question he's a dog with an exceptional engine. You know, his his racing traits are just there to be seen. He can do it all. He could fly to the corner, he flew down the back and, and he stays 550 strong. So, you know, clearly he's a, an exceptional greyhound. But again, do they come back after these injuries? And at his age, at his age, I'm not too concerned about it. He's not four yet. And to be honest, he's only had 35 races. So, like, I've seen graders that are... 20 months they've had 35 races you know what I mean let's, let's ask the trainer yeah did they come back they they do come back I mean I was speaking to to um, Graham the other day and he was saying you know he's been well galloped to home he's sort of some stunning unofficial trials and he's really pleased with him so um, listen I, I thought his trial was good the other day like you say he was sluggish out of the boxes um, but just watching the dog he moved perfectly well there was no checking on the bends he looked fluent um, it looked a very good trial. I thought they'd be delighted with that. Are these um, two greyhounds, Claire's Rocket and Tyra Shea, that you, as a, a greyhound tra trainer, student of the game, are just excited to watch, even even though you might be up against them? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is what gets the the, mm. the blood flowing, isn't it? The, the you know these these top class dogs. Um, and, and going back to Tyra Shea, I mean, I watched his trial and I thought that was a fantastic trial. You know, for a dog that's been off so long. Um, Again, talking to PJ, he was absolutely thrilled with it. Um, that, that was a great run. Um, coming back from his gracilis injury, um, he said he's 100% as well afterwards. So, listen, that dog could improve and improve, and why can't he go all the way again? And Martin? I, I as, far, as far as we assumed, Claire's Rocket had been retired, Tyra Shea had been retired, presumably, they weren't in your lists, and if they were, there were 501 chances. Not quite so big, Jonathan, no. Uh, we, were, we were looking at a few of the newer guards yeah. that are coming Has there been year. money for them? That's what there, I mean. there hasn't been really, no. Right. I mean, it would be great to see Claire's Rocket and Tyra Shea come back again after last year, as, as the other two boys have just said. You know, they were, especially Tyra Shea, he made the derby last year with his sort of wide, flashy finishes, and everyone said Tyra Shea wasn't the ideal toaster dog because the fact he was a you know, slow way, strong running wide runner, and they couldn't win round toaster. Any dog to win round toaster would be early paced, and, and railers, you know, Tyra Shea blew it out of the water. Obviously, he had his track record run as well when the 
in the competition, which which was tremendous. And yeah, he was the he was certainly the dog that got the interest going in the derby last year. So I was like, great to see him back. But it's a bad injury to come back from a gracilis mm -hmm. injury. You know, they they I mean I'm no vet, but they, they I've had dogs before that have done gracilis, and they they do go again, don't they? So if he can get him through the final again, it'd be the, the training performance of all time, I think, from from PJ to be honest. But it's great to see him back anyway. So having another go. All right, uh, back to Ian. <coughs> We're just going to wrap up the uh, the Irish League of <coughs> Contenders. Now, with a little bit of licence here because we've got Tyra Harold on this list and I think if Charlie Lister's watching, he'd be none too happy, I would imagine. But, uh, you, look, you know, cracking Irish card. He's, he's now with Charlie. What can you tell us about Tyra Harold? Um, <coughs> he's sort of a similar dog to Claire's Rock in the sense where he does it all. He starts, he moves down the back and he stays. Um, he's probably that few yards behind Claire's Rock at, uh, well, certainly on the last evidence. Um, if he finds a yard or two from last year, there's no question he's a, he's a dog that's capable of going very far in a derby. But then behind him, stacking up, we've got all these young dogs that are going to be coming across and they're an exciting crop. Like I just wonder, will one or two of them just probably have the legs of Tyra Harold, you know? Okay. Um, he's No question he's a fast greyhound. And he's a UK runner this year, that's fine, so be it. Charlie's only once. All I know is that if he dogs. wins the derby, yes. you can be sure to be a, an Irish tricolour on <laughs> the track after the race, and that constitutes an Irish runner from my life. He's English now, sorry, he's English. <laughs> right, um, Borna Gin. Borna Gin is one of a strong team that will be coming from Pat Buckley. Um, I was telling Martin to drive down here, there's a lot to like about the dog. He's strong, he's exceptionally strong, he's very fast. Um, They'll be the night where they'll find themselves in behind Greyhounds, no question. But what I liked about, I think it was the second round of the Easter Cup, maybe third round of the Easter Cup in Shelburne Park, he got held up around the bottom two bends behind, I think it might have been Coolavani Mason, a dog that was tight to the fence, he was trying to get up the inside, couldn't get there, had to wait, had to wait, had to wait. But when the gap opened, mm -hmm. he just accelerated off the last bend and he just showed a change of gear, which is what you need at Toaster because yeah. for some reason they all seem to fall into that rail around the last two bends. And if you don't have a dog that, will, is afraid, if you don't have a dog that won't pass on the outside, the dogs that want to pass on the inside are really going to struggle to pick up because the run-in is not long. Uh, but this dog has that pace that if the gap does come, he can get through it and go. Um, and I'd say he's a dog that will, will take the toaster. Now, Pat has gone desperately close to winning an English derby. Yeah. So is this number one for, for Pat? I don't know, Borna Count was at um, Scottish derby final. But officially or unofficially? <laughs> I, if, if I was to back one of Pat's to win the derby, it wouldn't be born a gin. I, f I think the two, two or three of the young dogs he's bringing, are, I think they're exceptional. The Droopy's Davy dog is very, very right. special. Mm -hmm. He's obviously still, as, we, as we're, we're filming this, still involved in the Kirby. He'll be hot favour to win the final on Saturday night. Uh, I know he's coming. Yeah. He'll be arriving the Tuesday after, I've been told, and he'll have minimum one trial. He may have the two trials Wednesday, Saturday, and if he takes the place, he's a bit special now obviously he's very young and he's had plenty of races f for a young dog and he's going to have plenty more if he's going to get to the latter stage of the derby but he, there's something special about him yeah something special. interesting for years um, we used to talk about the late great Seamus Graham's quest mm. to win an English derby he's, uh, he's a lot younger of course uh, he's yeah. Pat albeit I think he celebrated a milestone at the yeah. weekend but nevertheless you know it, it, it's 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 a driving ambition very much his. so and the yeah. fact that his his words were Whatever's fit will come, um, and if he, f he feels they're, they're fit to do themselves justice, they'll be here, and he is a strong team. Now, one last ground I want to talk about, because this must be a commentator's nightmare. Oi, oi, you penalty. Yeah, we haven't had to deal with it too often because her name was changed only recently, right. the change of ownership. Um, yeah, I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to talk about her until it was priced up. <laughs> um, I was hoping she'd be stuck in it about 100 to 1 and trial badly and stick in the 100 to 1. She is an absolute aeroplane. She's, she's such a fast lady and she does one thing that I love. Uh, she suited so much the toaster in one sense. She doesn't like to pass on the inside, she prefers to pass on the outside. Um, she's a bit of, bit, there's a bit of jealousy about her. She's never turned her head or anything like that. I don't think she will, but she just doesn't like to get beaten. You can tell by her, she has a drive to get to the front. And yeah, at a big price, I think she's a really twig contender. I think it was a brave call. They're actually, she's going to be a UK runner as well. She's going to be trained by Mark Eatley. So um, she's after coming over, she trialed, she trialed well. Um, and I think it was a brave call because the Irish Oaks starts at the same time. And I genuinely think she was an absolute model to be in the final of the Irish Oaks because of her running style and the way she runs Shelburne Park. But brave call, and I think they could be rewarded 
I think they'll have a bit of fun with her. And well, the have had a finalist in the last two years with higher bats. So yeah. If this lady avoids v bad traffic problems, yeah. it's going to be very hard to keep her out of the first three. She likes a yard of early, but by God, when, when she enters the back straight, she starts racing. Well, she'll come up, I think, in a later discussion when mm -hmm. we talk about bitches maybe in the, uh, the Star Sports uh, English Grand Derby. Now, um, can we just pin you guys down to maybe one Irish trained greyhound to, to have on your side, Martin? Coming in later one actually, Joopy's biker. We're not mentioning him yet, have we? So mm, we're mentioning him in the later one. So Joopy's biker, he's also been running the, the Kirby Memorial, and he's uh, the pace he showed again by Pat Buckley. I mean, it might be the best in the sky. He actually fell over leaving the traps in the uh, third round of that, and then did so much running. He's also, also an exceptionally quick dog. So there's a strong team from the Buckley's coming over this year. I know one of their owners tried to back Buckley to win, uh, train a Derby winner back in November. So you knew then that there was going to be a fairly strong squad coming over. He's certainly mm -hmm. having the go at it this year. And yeah, the young guns, as, as Ian said, that are coming from there. So yeah, he's definitely okay. a dark one to keep an eye on as well. Droopy's biker, Kevin? Mm. Uh, Droop is Davy for me. Looks <coughs> looks yeah. exceptional. He really does. I mean, his um, his run in the in the semi final the other night was um, was was absolutely top draw. Um, and obviously, you'd hope there'd be more to come. Um, yeah, looks looks very very useful. And I presume the same for you then. Ian. Yeah, Droop is Davy, my yeah. number one. I've I've actually already backed him. Thank God. Um, got confirmation to be coming and decided to dip my toe in the water. Um, IOU penalty is certainly one I'd I'd be interested in. But again, she's a UK runner, so I can't include her in this segment. All right, and. Uh, where I'm concerned, having had a row with Matt Chapman last year, it just has to be Claire's Rocket for me, doesn't it, in terms of the Irish Challenge. But that is the Irish Challenge for the uh, English Derby. And uh, be back to us um, with something else soon.